Today we're opening this box that contains, hopefully, an epic Yu-Gi-Oh collection. But it's a mystery, so we'll find out. What's up, guys? We're back with another mystery collection opening where I'm not 100% sure what's in here. I know one thing. The rest, I'm not really sure. So I opened it up early just to see, like, what it was. And I was like, oh, wait, I recognize one of these things. The rest, I don't remember what was in this collection. So we're going to go through it together and find out. And fortunately for us, there is a note. We have, hey, Ruxin, I appreciate you wanting to look and buy my PSA cards and sealed case. So I remember the sealed case, the PSA cards. I don't remember what they are. I've been a big fan of your channel for a while now. It made me get back into opening and collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! It also inspired me to make my own pack opening channel ginger pack man go check it out guys i've been posting one pack opening video a week for almost two years if it wasn't for you and channel i don't think i would have getting close to 100 subs get into 100 subs guys come on we can do that and at this point at 100 i'll be opening a 2006 cyber dragon 10 that's a great opening thanks again for wanting to buy my cards give me a chance for the shout out Ex uh, excited to see the big pull you get out next and thanks again for helping me back in the hobby this is a giveaway in the box as well thanks ginger pack man all right you guys go get him to 100 subs i mean come on we can do that so get him to 100 subs let's see what he sent us for a giveaway as well. All right, I'm unwrapping this thing just real quick for you guys. Let's see. Okay, there's two. Oh, a couple of ghost rares. Bajinki Amaterasu, first ed from the legendary duels, duels from the deep, silent honor arc, and then unlimited Bajinki Amaterasu. That's pretty awesome. Double ghost rare giveaway, guys. So if you want to enter in the ghost rare giveaway, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite item in this opening. Make sure you go check out Ginger Pack, man. Leave me a comment down below. Something about it can thank Ginger Pack. Man for the giveaway, etc. Whatever you want to say. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is a collectible marketplace where you can buy items live at auction. You can buy them on the Buy It Now, and you can do marketplace purchases from a lot of sellers that you watch on YouTube, or maybe just are purely Whatnot streamers. I'm often on Whatnot selling stuff, whether it be live box breaks like this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central, where I will be opening not one but two first edition Metal Raiders boxes. And if you guys want to be a part of the madness, which will be 48 first edition Metal Raiders packs. I will be auctioning them off live at 5 p.m. Central this Thursday. There will also be a bunch of giveaways for people that are in the chat. Just show up and watch the stream and you could win a potential awesome giveaway. Or you could check out the Buy It Now tab where I will have hundreds of items for sale that are not at auction as well. And if you want to be there, make sure you click my affiliate link down below. Get $15 free credit for new users. Then bookmark the stream. Search Ruxin34 in the search bar. Bookmark the stream and make sure you don't miss it. I can't wait to see you guys Thursday because we're opening my very favorite set, two separate boxes. It's going to be amazing. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, let's do the PSA. Actually, we should, no, let's do the PSA cards first. We'll do the PSA cards first. Uh, I don't think this is a huge collection by any means, but it does have some pretty amazing stuff inside. So we're going to go through it one card at a time. So first we have a PSA... Oh, Bujingi Kagasuchi. So, Gateway and Amaterasu, we have another Bujingi card. Uh, Bujente, sorry, different different one. Bujente, Bujingi, they, they have different ones, different names, I should say. This is from Shadow Spectre's first at Ultimate Rare PSA 10. That's pretty good. I mean, compared to our last recent luck with PSA uh, returns and grading ultis, this is great. I mean, uh, we did not have good luck the other day opening Ultimate Rare PSA cards. So, that's already a good start. Bujinke. Bujinte, not K. Okay, I got it. I got to wipe some of these slabs off. Little, got some stuff on there, but that's no big deal. Uh, oh, another 10. Medolce Pudding Stats. So a lot of PSA 10s, it looks like. That's pretty cool. Well, two for two. So I guess 100%. That's pretty amazing as well. Medolce Pudding Stats Ultimate Rare. It's a pretty cool card out of Duelist Alliance. I'm guessing there's not a ton of these graded because it's not super old yet. But I mean, it's like almost 10 years at this point. So it's getting there. Uh, I think this is 14, right? Let's, let's look on the slab. 2012. Oh, wow. 2012. I kind of forgot how old this was. So it's over 12 years old. It's pretty old at this point. It's been longer since Return of the Duelist came out than it was from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! set, Legend of Blue Eyes, to Return of the Duelist. That's kind of crazy to think about. Okay. Oh, this card's awesome. Number 46, Draglulon. Draglulon. Draglulon? How do you say this card? It's not Draglulon because there's no... It's GL, Dragluon. This card's cool because uh, it was it was good in Duel Links. Nice for uh, rank eights, you know. It's it's not amazing, but it's a decent rank eight. So, and it's an ultimate rare. So very, very awesome. This is also from Shadow Spectres, interestingly enough. Shadow Spectres was a cheap set for a while, but it has some really nice looking cards. So honestly, pretty cool set for, you know, the reputation it gets. Is it going to be another ulti 10? Oh, Illusion of Chaos. Okay, I have one of these as well. These have definitely tanked pretty bad in terms of price. This originally used to be like, I think it was like 600 or something. It's like 250 now or something like that. Because yeah, PSA 10 of this card, it's just, it's sad how low it is. Because honestly, look how beautiful it is. By the way, uh, a lot of this, 
I'm buying for the collection. It's probably going to be on Ruxin34.com. So if you do want to buy stuff, go check out Ruxin34.com. There's a lot of stuff on there. There's PSA cards, sealed product, and of course, I put my affiliate links for upcoming sets like the Infinite Forbidden, which is coming out like probably this week when you're seeing this. So make sure you go check that affiliate link out down below, either in the YouTube channel or on Ruxin34.com. You can get a 5% discount code as well when you check that out. So go check it out. There's a lot of 10 so far. I like this. Oh, Pot of Greed from the... Is this the Pot Collection? Why does it say TBC? What's TBC? Not the TBC or TPC, the pot collection. Why is it TBC or is this something else? No, this is pot of greed in quarter century. This is the only, this is where it came from though. I don't know. I'm confused by that. That's an awesome card. That's a really awesome card. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure it, it's something obvious. I'm sure it's in the box collect the bot. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we have another quarter century PSA 10. This is the Magic Spectre Orthros Nue. Okay, very cool. It's a newer card. And we have a evenly matched. That's that's actually pretty cool. So playable card, but evenly matched is pretty iconic. So again, the QCR graded is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm guessing it's not crazy priced or anything, but that's still really awesome. All right, what else we got? More PSA 10s maybe? Oh, Okay, Nightmare Unicorn, this is kind of a weird choice, but it's an alternate art. Yeah, I mean, the, the alternate art, Nightmare Unicorn, doesn't have the iconicness necessarily of evenly matched, but it is a pretty cool looking card. I will say that. That's pretty exciting. Three cards left in this box. We have Dark Magician from Oh Duelist Saga. That might actually be kind of interesting because Duelist Saga is kind of a unique print where it has the lined ultra rare. Some people hate it. Some people love it. It's kind of one of those divisive type of rarities, but probably don't see this in PSA 10 very often. So that's actually pretty sick. Nice variety here. Some older ultis, some random stuff like Duelist Saga. Oh, speaking of Shadow Specters, I'm guessing I'm guessing this guy opens some Shadow Specters. Divine Dragonite Felgrand, secret rare. That's for, straight from the set. There's an ulti and a ghost in there, so this is the low rarity, but still pretty awesome. Pretty awesome card. That's the uh, the big card, not the cover card, I don't think, but pretty big, pretty big card out of the set. And then we have a ultra rare Mermail Abyss Linde. Interesting, because this has an ulti as well. Okay, cool on that box. All right, one more box of slabs. There's not a crazy amount of slabs or anything in this collection, but it, as, I, as you see, it's like PSA 10s and stuff. So it's some good stuff. And then there's also the uh, the case, which is actually one of the bigger reasons I bought this. The case is pretty sick. Let's see, we have uh, Stardust. Okay, so these are, I'm guessing the nines. So those are the tens. Shadow Spectres, Stardust. This was a promo in Shadow Specter Special Edition, if you didn't know. If you guys don't remember Special Edition, Editions. If you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh, they stopped those a couple years ago, but they had like a box with three packs and then a promo. Some of them had really incredible promos, like Shadow Specters had a Stardust Dragon inside. Some of them, not so good, but that's a pretty awesome one in terms of promos. The next card is a another Mermel Abyss Lene a PSA 9. So this is, this one's pretty, yeah, this one's not great. This is probably a pretty, pretty low, low end card. If it got a PSA 10, it'd be a little better, but let's see about the other ones. We have, oh, a Secret Rare Majestic Red Dragon. This is all also from a collector tin. So this is a collector tin, like that front promo. So in this era in 2010, they usually had a pack of promos. So they had Majestic Red Dragon and then a bunch of cards behind it, I believe. So, cause this is when they took the window away. So the window, they would have the tins with the window in them and they'd show the top card. They didn't do that anymore with these. So they it made it a full promo pack. And there was usually some pretty good super rares behind the secret rares in the 5Ds era. I don't remember what was in 2010 specifically, but one year had like Max C, one had like, uh, what are some of the other ones? Uh, Feck Veiler, I think was one. So there was some really strong stuff in there for a while. Okay, next one is Blue Eyes White Dragon. Dragon, PSA 9 from Legendary Collection. Kaiba? Pretty nice looking card, to be honest. I just wish that this line would go away right here, and that's a reflection of something behind me, I think. But, uh, oh yeah, speaking of, you guys like the new setup? I'm gonna add more stuff to it, I promise. But let me know, what should I put back there? Pro definitely some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because right now there are no cards, but there is a Pot of Greed right there. Uh, pretty cool. Next card, we have maybe a Pequeno Moth back there. Okay, a Tri-Edge Master Quarter Century Secret Rare. This is from which set? Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge. So last Battles of Legend set before this current year. Uh, we have the M Amanuesia, Namnuesia. What is this? The Ogdoic Queen. This is from, okay, Ancient Guardians. Of course, the Ogdoic set did not do well. Ancient Guardians overall pretty bad. And they they reprinted some of the best uh, collector rares in there already as collector rares. The Skullmeister. So... Yeah, that set is pretty brutal in terms of any value at all. But this card, honestly, in the foiling, I mean, it looks amazing. Look how rainbow it is. It actually looks really good. This collector rare looks good. So Ancient Guardian's got something going for it. Okay, still a few more cards. We have the XX Saber Gotham's Ultimate Rare. Unlimited. This is from, a oh, Ancient Prophecy. I'm not 
sure I've ever pulled this card in ulti. Maybe it probably an ultra, but I don't think I've ever pulled an ulti, and we've opened a lot of Ancient Prophecy, so that's actually pretty weird to see a card I've never pulled on Ancient Prophecy. Uh, ooh, Grand Neo, Secret Rare as well. This was also a 10 promo. There was a Grand Neo stand, which is actually weird. Like, it's not one you remember. PSA 8, though, so... Didn't do so hot. We're probably getting to the low end ones. I think I went in the wrong order here. The thing with these old promos, kind of like 5Ds era, they crushed the secret rare. They actually did it with the originals too. So for a long time, the OG, I mean, it's just the OG card stock was great. Yeah, upper deck. Why'd you have to, why'd you have to screw yourself over and, and get get fired? Uh no, no, we're back to nines. Okay, Nadir's servant, QCR. I recently graded some rarity two that you guys will be seeing pretty soon. So I graded a few of the high-end cards. So Nadir Servant, cool. I don't know how well that one's gonna gonna sell exactly, but we'll find out. We have the uh, okay dual saga. So we did grade a blue eyes as well. Blue eyes versus dark magician. Uh, dual saga. I figured he had to have both, right? So he didn't get the ten on the blue eyes. That's probably actually a really expensive card in PSA ten. Because some of these random blue eyes, like from like 2015, etc., where people didn't care at the time, not a lot were graded. So they end up, you know, the blue eyes collectors need the PSA tens, and they end up having to pay a lot for them because there are not a lot of them out there. Okay, let's see. We have the Pot of Greed. Okay, TBC again. Was there two rarities of this? Why do I not remember this? We opened the Pot Collection. Because this is more like a... The other one was a QCR. This is like a... I can't remember what this rarity is called. It doesn't even say up here. There's like no info up here. It's weird. There's normally so much on the PSA slab. There's nothing on this one. Interesting. Draw two cards. Kind of like the description. They're like, wait, let's keep it minimal for Pot of Greed. Makes sense. Pot of Greed's an awesome card. Two cards left. Okay, Dual Saga Dark Magician. So we tried two. I wonder if he tried another Blue Eyes as well. That's a really nice looking Dark Magician. Okay, last card. What will it be? Oh, Foolish Burial. Secret Rare from Legendary Collection. Yugi. PSA 9. Not quite the PSA 10. Beautiful looking card though. So interesting choices. Some of those I wouldn't have graded myself. Some of them I definitely would have. So... Overall, pretty nice stuff. I mean, it's not like all stuff that I don't love or anything. I actually like a lot of these cards. Some of them I, I wouldn't necessarily have graded, but I kind of like them slapped. I see, you know what I mean? So it's kind of weird. All right, and the final item is a sealed case of what's supposed to be Rarity 1. I'm going to open it up. You know, let's just make sure it's Rarity 1. I could check it with the code, but it's more fun to show it off. All right, so it looks like this is Rarity Collection 1, which, look, there's only a few sets that I really like in Yu-Gi-Oh! in terms of, like, aging well. I think Rarity 1 and 2 are are two of them and then the 25th anniversary sets when it comes to not all the 25th anniversary sets just the reprints the lob and stuff like that that's the stuff that i really like not guaranteed to actually happen so don't go buy a bunch of them expecting to make money but in terms of just holding that like your value like you pay like whatever you pay per box and you don't like lose it immediately i feel like these are the ones with the best chance so rarity one the thing is, I actually needed more of this for like whatnot and stuff though, and I ha I didn't want to sell the rest of what I have. You know, I wanted to keep at least some of it sealed for a while. So this is going to be great for that. So this worked out to be a pretty nice collection, actually. Not super large, but just kind of nice stuff, you know? Sometimes it's quality over quantity. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe because we're almost at 250K. If you didn't see what we're doing for 250K, go watch that video. Big announcement. It's going to be pretty amazing. So make sure you subscribe for that. And make sure you get Ginger Pac Man to 100 subs because he's almost there. Just go hit the subscribe button for him, guys. Shout out to Tone Fosho, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.